Hello, the internet. My name's Murs, and thank you for joining me today with Band Hacks and Pro Tips with Murs. So today we're going to talk about auditions. Auditions can be pretty scary, and it's a little bit intimidating to go in front of somebody and play your instrument. But think about it. We do it all the time in band class, um, for fun, at concerts, you know, so really it's just that, just in a room with you and a scary person you've never met before. First thing I want you to know about auditions is it has nothing to do with your worth as a musician. Let's say you totally bomb your audition, you get last place, and you know, you squeak every note, and you can't remember any of your fingerings. It's okay, relax, it happens. Sometimes they don't go so well. End of the story, better luck next time. Two. Preparing for an audition is a great way of learning your instrument better. Just think about all the people who have learned their scales because they had to for an audition. Scales are some of the most important tools we have as musicians, and it can make you so much better at your instrument. Three, the judges want everybody to do well. The judges aren't sitting behind that screen saying, Heh heh heh, I hope this kid's gonna mess up. I can't wait to laugh at them. No, the judges are back there saying, I hope this kid does really well, and I can't wait to write them positive comments on their sheets. So this is me writing. Hmm, what's number four? So anyway, there's a lot more that we'll talk about in some of these follow-up videos, but this is just an overview. So this playlist is the audition playlist. You'll find tips specific to your instrument, tips specific to auditions. You'll find some information on scales, on prepared pieces, on sight reading, but you'll also find some practice tracks that you can use to practice along with uh, if you're not comfortable playing it on your own with a metronome. On the practice tracks, I've included the etude recorded at different speeds, beats per minute or BPM. For the higher the BPM, the faster the speed. So 60 beats per minute, that's the slowest one I have, um, is half of the speed of 120 beats per minute, the fastest one I have. So hopefully you can fit somewhere in the middle there. And if you're a little bit slow for 60 BPM for now, then you're going to need to practice those measures on your own until you become a little bit more comfortable. And then you can jump in with the recordings. All right.